So I was thinking making a long video about this game, but I decided, you know what, there's no point. It's still an alpha, things will change, so I'm just gonna give quick impressions about this game and just... That's it. Let's just move on with that. Wake up, honey! Another Battlefield killer is coming out! Okay, but jokes aside, you have no idea how many times I've seen posts from so many people every time there's a new first-person shooter that tries to catch the demographic that plays Battlefield games. World War 3, Battlebit, Combat Champions, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 219, and the list goes on and on. It's very tiring if you ask me. So we have another one called Delta Force Hawk Cops, the game you're seeing in front of your screens. Horrible name, but hey, it's a very trendy thing these days to have horrible names for your games, but that's not the point. So we have another one, and let me tell you right now, it's a very confusing game. So it's been decades since we had a Delta Force game coming out, so most of you will be forgiven if you never heard of this franchise before. So all the history or whatever some people might think it's important, it's not. Treat this game as something new in the gaming market, because none of it matters if you think about it. I did see some comments about the aesthetics about the game, because Delta Force was never known as a futuristic or science fiction type of shooter. It's always been the realistic presentation of the military forces you're playing. It's grounded in reality and Delta Force Hawk Ops is quite opposite of that. But moving on. Delta Force Hawk Ops is basically a first person shoe and it has three different modes for you to explore. An extraction mode that is basically Escape from Tarkov, Grey Zone Warfare, DMZ and so on. You know, those extraction shoes, you know how they work. A battle mode that is basically Breakthrough and Conquest. And they are remastering a single player game that is called Black Hawk Down, which was a Delta Force game back in the day, like early 2000s if I remember correctly, but anyway, that, those are the three modes that you can play in this game. And I had a chance to play this game before the public alpha is out, and let me tell you this, the game actually has potential, but first we have to address some of the concerns I have for this game. Since the game was announced and showcased to the public, there was a lot of red flags about it. For one, it's being developed by a studio that made Call of Duty Mobile and published by Tencent. On the surface, it doesn't mean much, but if you're familiar with the games they published, especially in Asia, we might be getting some aggressive monetization practices that we might not enjoy. But it's not confirmed yet, we don't know that yet, because I do have a feeling they kinda know that these kinda business practices that they are familiar with might not be viable in the Western culture, you know, when it comes to gamers in the Western culture. We will see. Also, many months ago, people that had access to the alpha, they started to notice that Delta Force had a lot of stolen assets. Animations, for example, were identical to the recent Call of Duty games, and I mean actually copy-paste. Gun customization, for example, I don't know if it's something to do with Unreal Engine or some programming assets available for all developers to use out there, but it's almost identical to other games I've played before. Some of the skins on guns and vehicles look like they were ripped from other games, more precisely Battlefield 2042. And that's the funny bit. The best way to describe this game is basically Battlefield 2042, but better. Yeah, so Delta Force, it's, it's actually a really good game. I really liked the game. And I really like the alpha, and I'll play the alpha more when it comes out next week. Uh, it's, but that's just so funny, funny that everything they did is just a copy-paste from somewhere. It's basically Battlefield 2042 with Call of Duty gunplay. That's all it is. But that's all people want sometimes. I, I've seen a lot of people like literally get excited. Like, you know what? This looks very familiar. Clearly ripped from somewhere. But damn it, that looks good. It looks fun. It, it, it is. It lo it has its own... It's a very generic shooter. Yeah, it's very generic. I don't think it has that... Mm, well, I don't know what to call it. That... Mm, that, the, the, that the, what, you're, what you're referring to is, is probably what it's going to be. A flash in the pan. Almost identical modes. Even the names like Hazard Zone or Hazard Operations. Guess which one is from Battlefield 2042 or Delta Force Hawk Ops. Gameplay loop is almost the same as any Balfa game. Menu and HUD elements are almost the same. Specialists are back, and to make things even more funny, they have their own cringy lines like Battlefield 2042 did. Isn't it really interesting though, how like, we have that concept in our head that we've both said, like, you know, I, I agree with you, I think some of the voice acting is really corny, and I find it hilarious Oh, no cap, because... no cap? One of the characters literally says no cap. <laughs> I'm not kidding. <laughs> I just find it hilarious, because we know, like, we know it's being developed by a Chinese development team. So there is obviously a barrier there between a large group of what this game is being um, is being pitched to versus the people that are making it. And the reason why I keep saying this it's a better Battlefield 2042, it's because it is. It feels like the game the Battlefield 2042 wanted to be originally. Breakthrough mode that we have in Alpha, well designed. Flow of the maps is fantastic. Gunplay is very satisfying. Gun feels, gun feels like guns and they don't feel like pea shooters from Battlefield 2042 and I want to play every gun they have in the game. Movement is fast, but grounded. It's responsive, smooth transitions between, you know, sprinting and shooting feels good. I don't feel like I'm floating in the air, 
but at the same time, I do feel like the heaviness of my character, and it's not it's not like a slight fiesta that we have in Call of Duty, for example. It does feel good, a good mix of arcadey and realistic, and I do actually appreciate that. And the HUD and the menu, the whole UI, clearly inspired by Battlefield 2042, and I can actually read what it says on the screen, I can understand what the game is telling me. And just on top of that, the game visually actually does look pretty good. I don't know if the quality of the assets is better than 20, Battlefield 2042, for example, but that doesn't matter. The game visually is very pleasing to the eye, and when it comes to art direction, I think they nailed it when it comes to the realistic aesthetics, you know, that they're aiming for. So it just seems like the developers looked at Battlefield 2042, like the premise of it, and said, you know what, see that, we can do better while stealing all ideas and assets from other games, if that's of course true. Now, we don't know what's happening behind the scenes, but we do know that some of the developers that worked on Call of Duty animations actually working on this game, so maybe placeholders? God knows. And they did change the animations to be more unique, so problem solved, I guess? Of course, there's other things that needs to be addressed before any legal teams will start snooping around this game, but overall, Delta Force Hawk Ops is a good game with a lot of promise. Well, it's Hawk 2 ing on other games at the same time. <laughs> Developers that are making this Delta Force game clearly have some talent behind it. They have a vision, they, whether that vision is correct or wrong, but they stick to it, which is quite important these days. They build an amazing foundation for the future, and honestly, I'm kinda, kinda looking forward to the full release. Because I do think this game has a better chance of surviving in the long run, even when the next Battlefield game is finally announced. But it just all depends what they do in the future if they make the right decisions going forward. Because the game itself feels amazing to play. There were no problems with the server. Well, sure, they might change as the full release happens, but positive signs so far. The servers were stable. The modes they have in the game are different and unique from each other. You have your extraction mode, your battlefield mode, and a simple single play if you feel like reliving the early 2000s, you know. And it's a free to play. You have nothing to lose, you, you only have t your space on the hard drive to lose, that's it. And the alpha build is like 50 gigs, which is not much compared to other games. Battlefield does need competition, and they need a good kick in their butt to remind them that times have changed, and there's multiple studios and publishers that are willing to fight for your player base. Some might succeed, some might not, but eventually there will be a studio and a publisher that will succeed. You can't just rely on your brand anymore, you have to catch up with the current times. And there's a reason why all the biggest shooters out there like Fortnite, Call of Duty, Apex Legends have their own resurgence game modes now as, as a good example. They know what people want to play, so they are providing that, and Battlefield always been very slow and indecisive about what the brand stands for. There's rumors about Battlefield making their own proper Battle Royale mode, and now imagine if, if in a couple of months, Delta Force announces that they are doing a Battle Royale too. Just imagine if that happens, especially if Delta Force has an amazing smooth launch, game feels amazing, slow in a good way, and it will be an amazing alternative to Call of Duty Warzone. That would make Activision sweat, now imagine how EA and DICE will feel about hearing that. Long story short, competition is good for us consumers, I think you should try Delta Force Hawk Ops, it's free to play, you have nothing to lose, and I think it's an amazing alternative to people that don't enjoy Battlefield 2042, or they are bored of old Battlefield games. It's not a perfect game, don't get me wrong, but it's still something. Will Delta Force stick the landing and actually continue to improve? Provide good live service you think you deserve as a consumer, the content people will be expecting? We will see, but early signs are positive so far, so we just have to wait and observe how things will go. So anyway, that's all I want to say about Delta Force. Uh, I think the game has a lot of potential, the foundation is there. It's not a perfect game, there's a lot of red flags about the game, but there's nothing wrong to trying out, especially if it's free to play. So give it a go, see how we, maybe you like it and so on, and we'll see what the developers will come up as when it comes to the future. Let's see what kind of updates they will do to the game. We'll see. So that's all I want to say. So my name is Tom, also known as the Lanky Soldier. I hope you enjoyed the video. Go check out my podcast and Patreon because we have some amazing content there for you. Don't be a douchebag. Have a good day.